Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and today I've got something pretty exciting to share with you and that is some brand new Anthem gameplay. For those of you that follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you might have seen that at the end of last year I went over to Stockholm to EA's DICE office to go hands-on with the game for basically a whole day. Had a chance to play through some different missions, test out some free play, and most importantly, record some gameplay. That was all part of the EA Game Changers program, so massive shout out to EA for very kindly letting me record this footage. And today, I'm bringing you guys the first stuff that we're allowed to share with you, and that is the full playthrough of the Lost Arcanist missions. If you do enjoy this, then I'd like to be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. If there's anything you want to know, I will do my best to answer where possible. And also, if you guys haven't entered our brand new giveaway for 2019, there is another Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Switch that we're giving away. If you guys want a chance to win that, then click the link in the description box down below. The winner for the last giveaway was announced on Twitter the other day. Now, very quickly, just to give you guys some context to what you are seeing, I will, for the majority of this video, let you guys watch it without me talking at the top so you can enjoy the gameplay, but there are a couple of things I want to go over very quickly. First thing is that the gameplay you're seeing, I am playing as the Colossus. However, in this video, there's also some gameplay very kindly from Willis Gaming and Ryan Central. They were also at Stockholm and they had a chance to go hands-on themselves. They too will have some gameplay for you guys to watch. And they very kindly share that with me. So what I'm able to do in this video is give you guys a few different perspectives. You'll see the Colossus gameplay from me. And then when we switch over to the Interceptor, that is Ryan. And when it's the Storm, that's Willis. So if you guys want to see some more gameplay from their perspectives, I will link both of their channels in the description box down below. Definitely be sure to check them out. They'll be doing plenty of Anthem coverage too. But for the purpose of this video, it means you can watch through the whole mission and not just see one type of javelin. Now, the other thing worth mentioning is that what you're watching is a very early mission. The game is also still in development, so things are subject to change. But more importantly, this is very near the beginning of the game. So in terms of actual javelin progression, we basically have nothing unlocked. We played through the first couple of missions as the Ranger. We got to the point where we got an unlocked token, and I then chose to unlock the Colossus. So I have very basic abilities. I don't have any special weapons, don't have any special gear, anything like that. I'm literally a basic beginner colossus that means i have a shoulder mounted cannon that can fire out the one single mortar i also have an arm mounted weapon which you charge up you'll see that little sort of half circle thing appear and then when you let it go it's basically like a big concentrated blast sort of like a shotgun and on my weapon front i have the heavy machine gun which is exclusive to the colossus it's the only class or the only javelin that can wield the heavy weapons and i also have i believe a grenade launcher but i didn't use that one too much in this mission so for the purposes of this gameplay you are seeing a very early javelin but of course i will have some more stuff to share with you guys over the coming weeks and whatnot showing a little bit more when we do unlock other things now the mission itself you've actually seen the first half of this already if you guys have seen the anthem live stream that they did they played through the first part of the mission the lost arcanist but they got to the point where they fought a mini boss and then they decided to end the mission there but in this gameplay you'll see it all the way through to the end which is really cool because we actually get a chance to see some exterior gameplay and also then go inside this sort of cavern or temple looking thing and then fight through some enemies in there. You'll get a chance to see some supers in action. You'll get a chance to see you know, different weapons, different abilities, things like that. So this is the entire mission through to completion. I really enjoyed my time playing with the Colossus. I also had a chance to test out the other classes as well. It is a lot of fun, but I will be following up tomorrow with a video speaking more in depth about my hands-on impressions. So if you guys want to get a chance to see what I thought about it, things like that, then definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, just stay tuned for plenty more Anthem coverage. But for the time being, enough rambling. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this. This is the full playthrough of the Lost Ark. Of this mission. Anything else out of the thighs? Nothing. We just lost the radio signal. We need a signal booster. Wait! Found one. Got a bunch of scars. I've never seen this much scar activity. What is going on? I don't know, but it's not a good sign. More scars incoming. Looks like they're using gates. I think those. Very unfair. Thank you. 
Taking it apart. We fix that. I bet we reach Matthias. That seems to be the last of the scars. Let's fix that radio. What needs to happen? Get me into the access panel. I'll do the rest. Access panel open. Starting repairs. Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. Would you just let me? Oh, damn it! <sighs> Hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars. I'll figure it out. It's working. I've got a location. Action device through. I'm calling anyone in the area. I need help. There are scars everywhere. It works. Matthias, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank goodness. There's no time. I'm hiding, but the scars are searching. I, I can see them. You must hurry. Just hang on. We're coming. radio signal. Are you okay? A little banged up, but fine. You see that ramp up ahead? The one with the statue? Head up there. What about the scars near you? See anything? A few spots of trouble. Near misses. They're quite relentless. Wait, what's this? I found some canisters. Hmm. Huh. Could prove useful. Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. We need a contained explosion. I think you better hurry. We're dealing with some scar ahead. What less for the thighs? That's good.
taken care of. So let's see to those scars. You got it. Matthias, give me an update. I think I see them. Just a minute. Okay. Haven't been this far into the ruins. Stay ahead of them. I'm nearly there. We've reached the tunnel. You're close. Main chamber just ahead. It's incredible. You've seen some damage. The fires has been busy. Thanks very much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you want to grab some sweet Arax Gaming merch, you can head over to the Endgame store right now, that's linked down below, and you can pick up either the Arax Gaming festive jumper or sweater, and yes, we might be past Christmas, but it's an awesome jumper, so if you want to grab one, they are super limited, there were only 100 of them made, but there are still a few left, so you can pick those up if you want. Plus, we have the limited Yeet pin from 269's livestream. If you want to grab that, the awesome mascot, you get that as a pin and a sticker, so both of those are available to purchase if you guys want to pick them up. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to stay tuned, don't forget to stay subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads, and you can check out some of the more recent videos linked right here.